Meghan and Harry's hugs to fans in public are a happy and cosy moment look too cute. For most, a hug is a completely normal way to express affection, but not for royals when they are out and about on an official engagement. It's rare for a member of the Queen's family to embrace in public as they are technically working. But every now and then, and the royals decide that rules are there to be broken. They know that actions speak louder than words and sometimes a warm embrace is the only way to effectively communicate. How they are feeling, especially in times of sadness or celebration. During the pandemic, many of the royals including the Prince of Wales and the Duchess of Cornwall, admitted that they were missing seeing their relatives and giving people hugs. But if like the royals, if you've been missing hugs from loved ones, people in England will be able to hug friends and family who aren't in their household bubble, when restrictions ease even more from the 17th of May. Prince Harry is spotted hugging a girl during the presentation of the Invictus Games The Hague 2020, in May 2019. Making sure to hold tight to the colourfully decorated present that he had been given. The Duchess of Sussex hugs kitchen coordinator Zahira Sufian on a visit to the Hub Community Kitchen to see how fundraised by Together. Our community cookbook are making an impact at Al Manor in North Kensington in November 2018. The Duke of Sussex shared a warm embrace whilst visiting a community cafe. During a visit to Barton Neighbourhood Centre in May 2019 in Oxford, England. We love how happy the woman hugging Prince Harry looks. This photograph captures a sweet moment between the Duchess of Sussex and a young girl in New Zealand whilst the royal couple were on a tour in 2018. We love the fact that Meghan has kneeled down to embrace the tot with both arms what a lovely gesture. The Duke of Sussex hugged an emotional member of the public who appeared shocked by the warm embrace. The royals were visiting cities in Australia, Fiji, Tonga and New Zealand on their 16-day autumn tour in 2018. Not even the rain could put a damper on this sweet embrace between Prince Harry and 97-year-old Afni Dunn. During the Royals' June 2017 visit to Australia, Harry had met widow Ms Dunn once before in 2015, and looked thrilled to be reunited with her in Sydney. During Prince Harry's tour of Brazil, the young royal shared a special moment with a policeman as he visited an at-risk community in Sao Paulo. Prince Harry opened his arms to a young girl at a youth sports festival at the Sir Vivian Richards Stadium in Antigua during his royal tour of the Caribbean. Carson Hartley and Prince Harry became quick friends at the World Child Awards in 2014. The toddler won both the hug and the Inspirational Child Award during the event, which honored children suffering from serious diseases. Upon learning of his passing in 2015, Harry sent a heartwarming letter of condolence to Carson's family. Prince Harry hugged his new friend Ollie, who suffers from Batten's disease, during the World Child Awards in London in October 2016. An emotional Prince Harry thanked ex-servicewoman Kirsty Ennis with a hug in 2015. After she gave him dog tags that belonged to her 21-year-old colleague who was killed in action in Afghanistan. Prince Harry received a warm welcome from Jamaica's Prime Minister Portia Simpson Miller. After he arrived in Kingston as part of the Queen's Jubilee Tour in 2012. Well, that's an adorable way to greet the royals. The newlyweds were met at the airport by young students, including one five-year-old boy who warmly embraced the crouched-down couple. Duchess Meghan, whose pregnancy was recently made public, wore a loose-fitting white button-down shirt and grey blazer over skinny black pants. The pair have always been supportive of one another and Meghan looked on proudly as Harry delivered his speech. On their first engagement in the Nyanga Township in Cape Town, South Africa in 2019, Harry and Meghan visited the justice desk, where they joined in with a group of dancers who greeted them. With their arms around each other, the couple shared a giggle as they showed off their moves. Just a couple of months before their wedding, Harry and Meghan made an unannounced trip to Northern Ireland, where they met members of the public and had lunch in a local pub. The bride-to-be was caught gazing lovingly at her husband-to-be as they arrived at cheers from the crowd. The newlyweds made their first official overseas visit to Dublin in July 2018, where they met Teo Asich Leo Veredka. Animal lover Meghan was in her element as they met his adorable Beneath Mountain Dogs Brod and Sida. The couple currently have two rescued pups, and Pula, who live with them at their Montecito home. 
The Duchess stepped in to hold an umbrella over her husband as he delivered a speech in a heavy downpour in Grout stricken Dubbo, Australia. Despite the mayor of Dubbo offering his brally, Harry said, It's all right, I've got my wife. That's teamwork. During a walkabout on Queensland's Fraser Island, Harry and Meghan were delighted to receive teddy bears for their future child. The couple beamed as they took a stroll around the jetty and Meghan wowed in a striped Reformation maxi dress with a thigh high split. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, would you please help us like, share, and subscribe our channel? Wish you happy to see our videos. Thank you very much.